Hello everybody, thank you so much for watching. Welcome back for another video. I'm really excited for this one. I think I say that about every single video I start to film, but I really do just get so excited about filming a video. I'm excited to film, does that make sense? Anyway, so I started this series, I guess we can call it, over on my channel last month, and it was like a January favorites. I just thought like it can't always be fashion. I can't just have fashion favorites because like not everyone's interest is fashion that's watching. So I thought I would kind of morph it more into like lifestyle, bits and bobs, fashion, makeup, all that, skincare, hair care. And again, the same prospect still applies. Like I think it's such a fun way to like track what I've been like loving throughout the year. I think by the time it gets to like January or February next time, like rewatching this kind of video and being like, oh my God, that's so weird how that was in trend at that time. This is what's in trend now. And obviously all these things repeat itself all the time, especially fashion. And you guys really enjoyed the January favourites when I posted that as well. Um, and I did get a few requests over on my Instagram as well to film a February favourite. So that's exactly what this video is going to be. I'm very excited. It's going to be a really like chilled vibes, relaxed video. So the first kind of section I wanted to go into was like makeup, skincare. But skincare is a huge part of my like daily routine now i really took the time to like learn a lot about like skincare and like what my skin needs and like i don't know everyone's skin is different and everyone has different needs for their skin but i really like took interest in like what is good for your skin what's not good for your skin what order to kind of put these products in all that kind of stuff i have actually seen such a big difference in my skin like it's crazy um my skin is very prone to like texture spots redness blemishes all of that like i'm just like problems that everyone has but like the products I'm about to show you have cured this or helped it in some way shape or form so my sister actually showed me this product this is the Clinique take the day off cleansing balm like cleanser cleansing balms are the way forward I've actually just asked for another one for my birthday which is next week um and it's actually an Elmas one and I saw Sarah Ashcroft uses it and like anything that Sarah Ashcroft uses I need in my life and it looked unreal on her skin and like it made her skin look so good when she was like taking off all her makeup um but for now this one is unbelievable I've been using it quite a bit you can see like half of it's already gone um so good and Clinique as well is just such a trustworthy brand do you know what I mean like I feel like it's just been around for ages it's not gone anywhere it's here to stay and like their products I think are just so like trustworthy my sister also loves this as well she's the one who got me onto this hype so thank you Sophie uh, but it's honestly so so good Um, a new thing that I actually want to talk about I only got this like a few days ago oh my god if you follow me over on my Instagram which I hope as well you do. Um, I spoke about how I'd really like struggled with like a few skin problems recently. Like I had got like a massive like breakout around my mouth and then like something like my forehead in between my eyebrows um, and just like weird spots all over my face. You can't see them now because it's covered up with makeup. However, see that there was loads of spots like gathering around my mouth, okay? Gone. And it's literally down to this product here and this is actually just the refill tabs um but they do come in like i actually want to call it like an airpod pack i'm not even kidding it looks like a airpods but it's not um but they're basically i'll show you what they look like they're basically these i want to say stickers but they're not stickers stars okay and you literally peel them off and you put them right on top of a spot I would recommend not to have any product on underneath just because you don't want them like slipping and sliding. You just want them to stick there and like dry the spot out. Um, I feel they could not recommend these enough. I literally put these on the day that I had those spots when I put it up on Instagram. I literally went to Superdrug, bought these, put them on, like I put them on two times in that day. Like one like when I got home and then one time again in the evening after I'd showered. And I'm not even kidding, I woke up the next morning and there was, there was no bump anymore, it was just like redness. And obviously that'll go away within a few days. So my spot literally cleared overnight. And trust me, there was quite a few gathering and very like angry looking spots. And this honestly saved me. The brand is called Starface. Again, this is the refill packet. You can see how excited I was to open them. <laughs> okay, product number four. Four. Um, you're gonna have to ignore this. I don't know, I've just broken out some sort of rash. I don't know why, I might have very sensitive skin. Okay, I'll literally like touch my skin like this and it'll go red, okay? So ignore that. I have been using this every single night after I got it from Christmas and it's 
basically gone. Like you can see it's like dust there. And I'm no way like a big bottle or anything. And no way is it cheap, but oh my God. I spoke about this in my skincare video in like the section of the vlog. Um, and how much I rave about it. I've had so many messages from like my friends being like, is it actually worth it? Like, should I actually buy it? Yes, yes, you do need to buy it. It literally says, okay, what it says on the tin, okay, is that it brightens, hydrates, and makes your skin glow. I also think it really helps with my spots as well. Like, I feel like it really calms them down. This is honestly so good though. And I never would think to like put like turmeric oil. Turmeric oil, that's so weird. You think of that like with cooking, I don't know. A little bit goes a long way, it's just so good and I could not recommend this enough to your mum, your granny, your sister, anyone, you need this in your life. It's called, yes yeah, I didn't even say what it's called, mm, sorry. This is from Sunday Riley and it's the CEO Glow Vitamin C and Turmeric Face Oil. Just go buy it, go buy it. Okay and for Christmas as well, Joanna, Michael's sister aka also my friend, um, she got me this teeth whitening pen from Moon. I think it's someone like Kendall Jenner promotes or uses or something. However, I, I mean, I have not been using this for the longest time, not gonna lie, but I have been using it every single night since, was it like last week? Um, but I actually have seen a difference in my skin, in my skin, <laughs> no, in my teeth. Um, really good though, and it's like, it's so easy to reply. You literally just like push on the end and then like draw on your teeth and then I leave it in overnight. I don't actually know if that's the right thing to do, but that's what I do. And I don't know, I think it's really good though, like really good. And like, it doesn't taste weird in your mouth. Like it, it's just nice and it's easy and it's not like, it's not complicated. It's literally just a pen, a scusher thing onto your teeth, easy, done, bye. And as well as skincare, you guys know, I am a big fan of hair care. I first go in with the leave-in conditioner so I'll squish that all over my hair and then afterwards I'll go in with this LV leave-in conditioner like brush resistant kind of cream um, and it's literally just done you shake it I, I just squish quite like a generous amount into my hand and then like sugar it all the way through my hair um, these products just work so nicely together and it leaves my hair feeling so like nourished you know like really thick and just so nice and so easy to brush and if you're someone like me who has like really tuggy and like thick hair and sticking with hair care kind of talk these are my two best friends at the moment I'm not gonna lie to you oh my god they actually have hair on them that's kind of gross so if you didn't already know recently, I've just cut myself a fringe. You know what, sometimes I wear it as a fringe, sometimes I wear it as not a fringe. It just like depends how I'm feeling that day. However, if I'm wanting to style up the fringe, and you'll know if you have a fringe, that they are quite difficult to style and maintain and upkeep and whatnot. You need yourself some of these. I got these from Amazon and they come as like a set. So I didn't buy these separately, they literally came together. And I think there's three different sizes of rollers. So depending on how thick your fringe is, how long it is, or if you're even using it for a fringe to just use it for your hair, it comes as a set, so don't worry. And there's so many clips that come with it. They break quite easily though, I'm not gonna lie. I stood on one, well I mean that's kind of obvious that I stood on it, obviously it was gonna break, but yeah, it did break after I stood on it. Mm. And it's just, I've done it like three times in the video. Anyway, but these are just so, but these are just so, but these are just so. Sorry. Moving on to like makeup a bit. If you watch these videos, which again, I hope you would, um, or even if you follow me over on Instagram, you'll know that like whenever I'm like, I'm d filming a video or I'm taking photos from my Instagram, I'm always wearing an eyelash or a lash. I just feel like my makeup always looks really strange without an eyelash on and obviously that is still like personal preference and like down to down to oneself uh, but for me I love wearing eyelashes I think it just brings the whole makeup look together you know my favorite eyelashes ever are the TL4s from Tati Lashes Tati Lashes I think is my favorite brand for eyelashes um, if I'm going for a more expensive option I probably would wear like a Lily Lash um, but I have not worn the lashes in ages just because they are 30 quid for one pair of eyelashes. No thanks. These however are like 9, 11 quid for a pair of lashes and they last me so long, so long. Probably like a gross kind of amount how many times I rewear them but I'm not complaining. If it's not broke, don't fix it. I bought this powder from Revolution. 
and I think it's the banana one, which is, honestly guys is quite weird because I hate bananas. I hate the taste of them, I hate the smell of them. Ugh, they're just minging. The texture, it's just revolting. Anyone who likes bananas is a weirdo. I mean, the whole population loves bananas apart from myself. This powder is amazing. It is amazing. If you like a loose powder over like a compressed powder, buy this. Please buy this. You can get it in Super Jug, I'm pretty sure. Um, and they do like multiple, I wanna say scents, but I think it's more like to do with the color and the complexion of them. So this one is more of like a translucent, kind of like yellowy, peachy undertones. Um, but they do do other ones for like darker complexions, they do ones for even lighter complexion than my own. Um, it's honestly just a really good powder and it's just so like silky and half of it's just fallen over my leg. It's just so like buttery and silky and just like so nice. I've got it on today. It's a drugstore brand, so it's affordable, it's cheap and it's quite big. So you get like, quite a lot for, I mean obviously you're not paying very much, but I would highly recommend that like to a friend. Okay, the next thing I do want to talk about is I'm always on the hunt for like a cream contour, I feel. I have been for a very long time. I'm not a powdered contouring kind of person. Yeah, since I left school, I just became so much more like, attached to cream contouring than powder. I don't know why, I feel like it always, like it doesn't matter what brand I'm getting it from or anything. It always makes my face look muddy, always. Uh, and I've tried so many times, I've tried different brushes, I've tried different literally items. I've tried different foundations for underneath to see if it would make it better. But cream contouring, however, does work so much better for me personally. These, however, again, are also drugstore products. I honestly, I feel like drugstore products, they know how to do products like cream contouring really, really well. And they're like hidden gems. No one knows about them. I've had this for about three weeks now, okay? And I've been using it a lot. So this is the NYX Born to Glow. It's like a concealer, but I've just bought it in a darker shade to what I would wear like my under eye concealer in. This is in the shade Cappuccino. Um, this is so good. It's so nice and warm, okay? I'm not much of like an ashy toned contouring kind of person. I feel like warmer tones just suit my face more. So you literally just push the product up to the top and then dot it onto your face. Very simple, very easy to use. This one I saw I don't know if any of you guys watch her, but you might. I know my sister is a fan of her. She recommended this product in a quite a few of her videos now. And this is Max Factor Miracle Sculpting Wand. And this is actually is a contouring like cream product. So it's for that. And this is in medium deep. When I did go into Boots to try and find it, it was out of stock. And then I literally struck gold with the last one in Super Drug. So I really hope they still stock this because guys, these two together, okay? I wear them both at the same time. This one's a bit darker and then this one's a bit warmer and lighter so I like to put them together and it just creates the most beautiful contour ever see whenever I do those like question times over on my Instagram okay I'd say quite frequently people are always asking like what's your lip combo like what's you wearing your lips your lips always look so nice like how do you do them kind of stuff I mean thank you very much um here you go um this is from Vive which is Jamie Genevieve's makeup brand um oh my god this is so good and like you can tell like she used to be like this tall now she's this small this is in the shade bark what do you guys think do you like it i love it and it's my favorite lip liner of all time and it's so like inexpensive it doesn't come off too like harsh you know so it actually looks like you've overdrawn your lips to fuck um it doesn't do that at all and i just really love it and i'm also going to include this because this is my i think want to say my third what do you even call this tube it's not a tube third okay gloss okay this is my third one of these okay i've had i've been wearing this gloss since I mean last year since we were allowed to go out clubbing and it is that gloss on like a night out when like you see your friend wearing it and you're like can I have some can I thanks you know and then you put it in your bag and you're not gonna give it back to her if you haven't already got your hands in this and you like a glossy juicy plump lip then there you go um to be honest the fashion favorites haven't really changed that much since February just because like we're still in this fucking lockdown and I'm not really being able to like trial and test out lots of different styles, you know, and not, not all things are like coming in hot, you know. Um, so one thing I would like to mention, which I don't think I mentioned in, I think I briefly kind of touched on it, but I have been obsessed this month with like abstract patterns. 
really have been and the best place I think stocks them is Pretty Little Thing. Oh my god, they sell some really beautiful abstract tops, like little razor back tops, little crop tops, turtlenecks, bodysuits, there's so many and they're in really nice pretty on trend kind of colours like your greens, your blues, browns, nudes, all of it just in one is just amazing and I love how like having like a colour, like a background colour like nude or brown or chocolatey brown, anything like that, neutral at the background of a t-shirt or a top or a crop top bodysuit whatever and then in some way shape or form there is like a splash of colour. Personally my favourite is like a green or a blue. I just think it suits like my hair colour, it suits like my body, I don't know, I just think it really, really works. That's that powder that's gone everywhere. Um, I honestly just swear by them and if you haven't already got your hands on like a patterned, abstract patterned top or anything, please do because I feel like, I don't know if this trend is going to stick for much longer so like you might as well embrace it whilst you can, you know? So I will include some photos of what I'm talking about I'm sure but I just love it. I think it's just so nice and like distracting as well especially if you're like me who doesn't really like to wear a lot of colour and it is quite like a neutral wearer. Having like a pop of colour or a pop of something like this in an outfit is just really really cool. I also just wanted to talk about um, stuff that's actually on my phone that I've been loving. Now one thing that has been on repeat on my Spotify is Summer Walker's Over It album. She kind of resurfaced on like TikTok recently and I feel like doesn't TikTok does not influence everyone's music taste at the moment because I know it does for mine. And to be honest, apart from that, a lot of the other fashion favourites have just kind of been the same as last month. Um, I'm still loving like my sunglasses, I'm still loving turtlenecks leather, blazers, shirts. I feel like they're always just gonna be favourites of mine though, but there's no like really obvious one apart from the abstract patterned tops and stuff. And but that's okay, sometimes there's gonna be months like that and that's quite all right. I'm not gonna force myself to like something just for the sake of a video. Um, but yeah, like I said, I have, I think I've experimented more with like skincare, hair care, makeup, favourites this month than I have with fashion just because I'm really comfortable with my fashion right now I'm really loving it and yeah that's just is how it is and I'm happy with that um but yeah I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video I love filming like really casual sit down videos like this I feel like there's just never like any pressure to like put on a show you know it's just a chilled kind of video and honestly these products are all staples of mine please do let me know if you guys get any of these products because i'd love to know how you find them just because they might not work for everyone but they do work for me and i'm sure if you have clicked on this video then you must be similar to me in some way shape or form um so you're gonna have to let me know how it goes um and yeah thank you so much for watching make sure you guys do hit that like button and you're also subscribed because i don't want you guys to miss out on any video that is coming we do have my sister's birthday next it's currently Thursday, her birthday is on Friday, and then I'm also going to be filming it. Great, I'm so excited. So I'm really excited for you guys to see that because I put so much effort into that bloody girl's birthday, but she deserves it, so it's fine. Um, but yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one.